Hello all, welcome to my presentation on the topic leveraging predictions from multiple repositories to improve bot detection. This project is done by uh, Alexander Deccan, Mary Gozande, and myself, Natarajan Chidambaram. I am doing my PhD in the Software Engineering Lab at University of Mons, Belgium, under supervision of Tom, Professor Tom Menz. Collaborative software development is uh, what it means is mostly developers come together to contribute to uh, contribute and develop a particular software artifact. So here, GitHub is one of the social coding platforms that which promotes collaborative software development. It has many soft, it has many artifacts such as code, pull request, issues, discussions, and so on. Here, contributors, uh, human contributors, and bot contributors both come together to develop software artifacts. Here, bots are mostly used in software development to perform repetitive, error-prone, and tedious tasks. Tedious tasks means like it, it requires manual, a lot of manual work, which can be automated. So bots can do this job. For example, dependency updates or code testing can be done by bots. This also reduces developers' workload by performing, by automating uh, the tasks. And also this increases the productivity of the team by automating the task again and this improves the developer's uh, quality as well. So the need for bot detection, because as we saw in the previous presentation as well, bots are prevalent in software development, in collaborative software development. In recent study, it is also found that bots perform 12 different tasks, and there are also many, many bots that do that, and bots are also among the top contributors in many projects especially in GitHub. So, and also developers need to know, especially the newcomers and the users deserve to know whether they're chatting with a bot or not. And this is also useful to accredit human contributors instead of bots. This is especially use, useful for the funding organizations who would like to fund, who would like to give, accredit the human contributors rather than the bots who are in the projects. And this also helps to reduce bias while conducting social technical analysis, because we need to have separate, we need to separate the bot accounts and also the human accounts to know and conduct and conduct the social technical analysis. This also allows the researchers to isolate bots and to study their impact, their performance in the project, and so on, and other bot-based studies as well. Bot classification model, one of the uh, models developed in our uh, lab, the, which is which works on uh, predicting the type of the account based on similarity of comments and using the features such as number of comments, number of empty comments, patterns among them. And this model is trained and validated on 5,000 GitHub accounts, which has 527 bots among them. This model also achieved a precision of 0.94, recall of 0.91 and F1 score of 0.92 for identifying the bots and 0.99 in all the uh, three measures for identifying the human accounts. This particular model is named Bodega, which we have this bot identification tool, which gets the GitHub repository usernames and the rep repository name, the API key for query, and the other parameters. It goes into the each and every repository, queries the comments made by the uh, authors, by, by the contributors in issues and PR, and then the pre-trained classifier would predict whether a particular account is a bot or a human. So all the accounts in the particular repository will be class, will definitely fall under a particular class, whether it's a bot, human, or unknown. On the right side, right bottom, we have a sample output from Bodega, which is executed on the server repository. And here we can see particular users, particular contributors are predicted as bot, some are predicted as human, and some predicted as unknown. This unknown prediction is due to the fewer number of comments. Bodega has a limitation where the contributor has to make at least 10 comments for them to be considered for uh, pattern analysis and recognition so that they can be uh, predicted as human or bot. This brings us to the problem statement. For example, if, if you consider three different repositories where the same account, where same account is present in all the three repositories, the account is considered as human, predicted as human in one repository, same account is predicted as bot in another repository, and the same account as unknown in another repository. So, which 
time do we classify this account as? The problem statement is the same account can have different predictions in different repositories. So this because this is because Bodega acts on repository level rather than going on different multiple repositories. So we framed four research questions to answer our problem statement. First one is to see how frequently are contributors active in multiple repositories for them to be classified as a bot in one repository, human in another and unknown in another, they have to be present in different repositories. So we need to know how frequently are they active in multiple repositories. The second research question is to see how frequently the contributors have diverging, that is they are predicted as a bot in one repository, human in another repository or incomplete predictions, that is bot in one repository and unknown in another repository. The third question is to see to which extent can we fix these diverging predictions? And the final question, as we all guessed, to, we need to see to which extent can we complete the predictions, that is changing unknowns to bots. For this, we depend on Cargo Package Manager for studying the data. The first step, what we did is to identify the repos, identify the uh, packages that have a link to homepage or documentation. This is based on the assumption that mature packages definitely do have a, home, a link to a homepage, or at least they should have a documentation page to see, to explain why, what is the usage of package and how can it be used. And that's what we consider to be mature package. And the next filter, we found 94% of the packages were present, were hosted on GitHub, and then we removed duplicates. That is 92% of them were for unique repository. What this means is different, file, different folders of the same repository correspond to different packages in Cargo repository, Cargo Package Manager, sorry. So to filter, to as we are concentrating only at repository level, we, we removed the duplicates, the duplicate repositories, and found 20,000 odd unique repositories. Here, we also had another assumption saying that the number of issues of PRs should be greater than 100 for the particular repository to use bots because they need to have a usage of bots and for the, the particular repository is pretty big and then we can find the pretty big usage of bots. And finally, we ended up having 1039 GitHub repositories and among them, there were 147,000 pairs of contributor repository pairs, and among which, con which corresponds to 57,000 odd unique contributors. Anyway, these 57,700 contributors, everyone did not make enough number of commenting activities. Only 800, 8,000 contributors had enough commenting activity. That is, they had minimum of 10 comments in at least one repository for them to be classified and for us to use uh, Bodega. And the result of this, for, to answer the first research question, is that at least one third of the contributors were found to be active in multiple repositories. And surprisingly, uh, 200 level contributors were active in 10 or more repositories. To answer research question two, to have the, to uh, how frequently our contributors have diverging or incomplete predictions, we took the accounts that are predicted as bought at least once. And we took only those, considered only those accounts. And we found 221 accounts to be predicted as bought at least once in at least one repository. And this is this was done to this was done because we need to improve the bot detection and uh, the vice versa that human prediction false negatives is not feasible at we as we need to work on other 8,000 odd repositories, 8,000 odd accounts, and we need to form the ground truth for them as well. From this. We found the ground we found the ground truth, and we found around 54 humans and six bots have diverging predictions. That is, 54 humans were predicted as bot in another repository, and six bots were also predicted as human in another repository. And 36 humans and 27 bots had incomplete predictions. That is, they were predicted as bot or unknown, but never as human. To answer our third question, that is, how how to which extent can we fix the diverging predictions? We, di we distributed the points on a, a chart where number of bot predictions can be on the y-axis and number of human predictions on the x-axis. The orange triangles are true human, that is from the ground truth, 
and the blue ones are from uh, the true bots. On applying Bodega, we had a precision of 92.2, recall of 96.8, and FN score of 94.4 when comparing the performance of Bodega with the ground truth and its prediction as well. To fix the diverging predictions, we depend on a very main classifier that is wisdom of the crowd principle. In short, it's OPT. So wisdom of crowd principle is nothing but we give, we allot a particular uh, type of the contributor to be uh, the type of contributor corresponds to the type in which it is majorly classified as. For example, if a bot is predicted as, if, uh, if an account is predicted as bot for four times and human as three times, then we classify that account to be a bot. If in case of uh, clashes that, for example, there are four number of bots and four number of uh, human predictions for the same account, we give the benefit of the doubt to human. That is, they'll be predicted as human itself. And this, by applying this very simple model, we found it improves the performance by uh, actually F1 score to be to 99, uh, 99 and recall to be 100, precision to be 98.1. And this simple model seems to improve the performance of Bodega itself. Next question, to which extent can we complete incomplete predictions? And the same principle here, we have points where the orange triangles correspond to human, blue triangles correspond to bot. And here we have chosen a threshold of three plus bot predictions. That is the particular account should be predicted as bot at least for three times in three different repositories. And that should be the majority of the time it should be classified as. Then we can say the particular account is a bot. To summarize this work, we first saw how useful it is to identify bots. This is mostly useful for researchers and practitioners, such as they can use for use, they can be used for accrediting the human contributors and so on. Bodega identifies bots based on the comments, issues, and pull requests in a particular repository. As it works on repository level, contributors active in multiple repositories can have multiple predictions, that is, bot in one repository and human in another repository. So this to fix diverging and incomplete predictions, we propose the model called in wisdom of the crowd principle, where we found through the results that it is effective at fixing the diverging predictions by just having a majority classifier, majority uh, class. And it is also found to be promising to address incomplete predictions. However, this incomplete, uh, this the threshold of three plus bot predictions is, based, is formed based on the ground truth and the observation from our data. And it has to be validated on a bigger data set to be used and uh, generalization. To conclude, I would say that our proposed model is performing better than Bodega. And in future, we will see if any other bot detection tool can be benefited from the same approach. Thank you. And I welcome questions. Thank you. Thank you very much. <clears throat> I see questions in the chat. Let's start here. Um, there's one from Tom. Um, is it a correct assumption to say that a mature package should have a homepage or documentation link? How did you evaluate this assumption on which base you, uh, on which you base yourself for filtering the data? Yeah, so here it's just an assumption because like for mature package, uh, for it has it is developed for people to use it. So without knowing what the package is doing, or how to use a package, but definitely I would say for the mature packages would definitely have them. And this is just an assumption and this has to be validated again. Okay. So you didn't look at that, okay. Um, another question from Tom, Bodega requires at least 10 comments in order to be able to provide a prediction for an account. If an account has less than 10 comments in each individual repository in which it is active, but more than 10 comments in total in all of the repositories in which it is active, could this information be leveraged to allow Bodega to provide predictions for these cases? Currently, Bodega cannot do this because it works on repository level. So it considers individual repository because it, can, it takes a repository name and then predicts the account type of account in that particular repository. But here from the question, I could see that it is not about predicting the repositories. It is collecting comments for multiple repositories to predict account types. So currently Bodega cannot do this. And we, we would we could future in future we could modify Bodega to consider uh, comments for multiple repositories and predict the account type rather than depending 
on rather leveraging the predictions made by those uh, made by Bodega. Hope this answered the question. Actually, maybe if I can uh, yeah, be more precise on the question. The question is actually so since um, so basically I, the question was more like uh, would this type of another extension so you looked at different uh, extensions of Bodega to see if this could lead to better predictions. Uh, so my question is actually like a proposal for a new extension, but I don't know if it yeah. will be a good one in the sense that since, uh, well, on the one hand, you might have like an account could be predicted differently in different repositories. So in that case, taking the totality of uh, account comments over different repositories, uh, will this actually re uh, allow you to uh, provide accurate predictions if you would use this? in the case where you don't have enough predictions from one single repository. What do you think about this, given that you have already done some similar analysis? Yeah, actually, I think that could be done, but uh, I fear that uh, the concept of mixed accounts, we could miss the uh, concept of mixed accounts as well, where a particular account is being used by human developer and also bot, then if you're going to uh, so collect all the comments from different repositories and make this a single prediction, then we would miss the concept of mixed accounts here. And uh, currently, uh, as I said, Bodega works on repository level, but collecting multiple comments from different repositories and making a single prediction for the account can be done, but I don't know how much feasible it would be. I cannot promise this uh, accuracy as well. Thanks. Okay, Amy, we can get one final question from mm -hmm. Kasara. Maybe I missed it. Um, are the results coming from the test set or training set? From the results, it seems that the model is a bit overfitting. Have you also took uh, take, took a look at how you could reduce it? Um, here, there is no, we haven't run any training or testing. There is just a very naive model, which is uh, depending on the majority classes that is being classified to be. So suppose a particular account is classified as bot for majority number of times, then the particular account will be termed as a bot itself. So we haven't trained or test, tested or anything. We, have, we haven't done that. It's just a very naive classifier, that's it. 